Have you been thinking about owning a vacation rental in Branson, Missouri? Well, stick around for this next video because I've got a lot of great info just for you. All right, so maybe you've been thinking for quite some time, I maybe you've been coming to Branson for quite some time and you've been staying in the condos, these lodges that you've been seeing out here in Branson, Missouri, and thinking to yourself, man, I really would love to own one of those myself. Well, this is our specialty. Uh, I work for Whirling Associates, if you didn't know that already. Whirling Associates is probably the number one uh, leading real estate firm here in Branson. We deal specifically with nightly rental investors. That's our specialty. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit in depth without going, without giving away the farm, I guess, on everything that you're going to need to know uh, about buying a vacation rental here in Branson. And I've got a blog on my website. If you want to uh, check that out, I'll put a link down in the description and you're welcome to check this out in more depth. So the first thing that you're going to want to know when you're uh, picking out any property in Branson for vacation rental is identify your primary purpose and this is very important because a lot of investors will uh, you know set out with the idea of um, you know you want to have all these amenities and uh, everything for your own personal use so you really need to understand are you going to use this property yourself personally share it with your family with your friends because that's going to really affect the outcome right of your investment if you're in the property a lot during the summertime during a peak season um, you're not going to be making any money off of it right and so um, especially if you and your wife are maybe on two different pages on um, the use of the property um, then you want to get on the same page is this going to be a cash flowing atm spitting out investment for you every year consistently or is this something that you're okay with um, just kind of supplementing, helping pay your mortgage and it maybe not costing you anything. You're just kind of breaking even. If you're okay with that, um, then great. But knowing these things up front and communicating those with your real estate professional before you get started looking is very important. So that's step one, identifying your primary purpose. All right, so the next thing you're probably gonna want to uh, definitely know up front is how you're going to manage this property. There are many, many vacation rentals in Branson and certainly and any number of them can uh, let you self-manage if you want to and you'll definitely save a lot of money, putting a lot of money back in your pocket that way if you can, but there are a lot of places in town that will not let you self-manage. And you may not even be interested in self-managing. You may just want a turnkey, I'm getting a check every single month and just leaving it and forgetting about it. And that's fine, but you're gonna have to know how to run your numbers to include potentially what you're gonna need to know up front is you're looking at it probably 30% uh, management fee, that's on the bottom end, uh, anywhere between 30 and even 45% of your gross earnings. So just know that going into it up front. Here at Worley & Associates, uh, we do offer our uh, buyers and our investors a whole list of service providers uh, before you close on the property. And one of those is gonna be uh, property management companies for you. So you'll have some choices and certainly um, talk to us before you, you know, really get too far deep and I can recommend some for you, but we can kind of give you some direction on who has the best cleaners, who has some great maintenance and repair guys. And we're gonna talk about more of that later on in one of the next steps. All right, so the third thing, and what I really feel like, it is number three, but it's probably the most important thing for your uh, nightly rental business, and that's identifying a great cleaning service. Your cleaners are gonna be the backbone of your business, and these are gonna be the men and women that are gonna be in and having eyeballs on the ground in your property day in and day out, checking in. Between every check-in and check-out, they're gonna be the ones communicating with you about the condition of your property. So you're gonna to wanna to pay them well, if, if they're worth it, if they're doing a good job, but the most important thing that I would say you're gonna be wanting to look for with a, clean, a good cleaner is consistency. You have to be able to trust and know that your cleaners are doing a consistent job because the number one thing you're gonna get knocked on uh, on your vacation rental online, on your reviews, is cleanliness, okay? So that's the first thing that buyers see when they walk into a property is that first impression. So identifying a great consistent cleaner that does a great job for you is key. All right, the fourth thing that you're gonna to wanna to know when uh, picking out a vacation rental here in Branson is 
all of the expenses that it takes, right? So if you maybe you already own a long-term rental, you can pretty much gather all of the necessary expenses. But with vacation rental, it's a little bit different. You've got a lot of things that you have to take into consideration. Yes, of course, there are gonna be way more expenses when it comes to investing this way. But I can guarantee you your nightly rate at the end of the year, your return on investment is always gonna be worth it for you in the end. You're still gonna cash flow if you choose the right property. So here's some great um, tips for you as far as expenses that you need to be thinking about specifically for vacation rental. One, your advertising budget, right? You're gonna want to be advertising and marketing that property uh, through VRBO, maybe your own website, uh, Facebook ads. Uh, you need to set a budget and have that in your expense uh, report. Um, the next thing is probably credit card fees. So you're probably gonna need to include at least a 3% credit card fee uh, based on your gross earnings per year in that expenses as well. Um, some other things that you're gonna wanna uh, know are um, HOA and COA dues gonna be rolled into there. Another thing is supplies. Now this can encompass many, many things and a lot of times your cleaners are gonna be able to um, keep your place stocked. They're gonna include a lot of those things in their cleaning fee. But some of the things you might wanna think about are like your K-cups, coffee filters, um, any other miscellaneous things for the kitchen, some maybe added bonuses that you're trying to provide for your guests, um, games uh, for the kids, you know, any of that kind of stuff that you wanna think about stocking up into your uh, place for the year, uh, include that in your expense, um, expenses as well. Probably the last thing that you're gonna want to include in your expenses is a miscellaneous budget of some kind covering any repairs and maintenance on the property. You might not use all of it, but it's a good idea to at least have it uh, budgeted in there just in case. All right, so that's about the long and short of it. I know I probably didn't cover every single thing that you need to plan for. Again, if uh, you want a in more in-depth report uh, about everything that you need to know before you buy a vacation rental here in Branson, check out my blog in the link down in the description below and it'll give you a way more in-depth uh, kind of everything we've covered in this video for you, all right? Hope that was helpful for you guys. And again, reach out to me anytime if you have any questions. I try to read all my comments and get back to everybody same day. My name is Jason Yeager with Greater Nixa Homes and Worley & Associates. Thanks for watching you guys, and I will see you in the next video.